NASA astronaut and Jacksonville native Christina Cook made a stop in Onslow County today. She visited her old high school, White Oak High School. Cook spoke with students about space travel and much more. Not on your side, Sarah Gray Barr was also there. I caught up with NASA astronaut and Jacksonville native Christina Cook. She tells me this is actually her second visit to White Oak High School, but first in person. Her last visit was virtual with her video chatting from the International Space Station. Cook told me she always enjoys the chance to come back home to Jacksonville. You guys ready to talk about space a little bit? Yeah. All right. Cook grew up in Jacksonville. She says her love of the stars started here. I loved looking up through the pine trees in my backyard at the night sky. I loved anything that made me feel small. These things made me ponder the size of the universe. And she carries with her lessons she learned in Jacksonville. I credit Camp Lejeune. I grew up around so many different people from all over the world, so many different languages, so many different ways of being. That was one of the coolest things that I took with me from Jacksonville, and I'm so thankful for it. She talked about working with a crew, her participation in the first all-female spacewalk, and what training for Artemis II looks like. We are in the thick of training right now. We get to do awesome rescue training. This is us training. Again, we're using that big pool we normally use for spacewalk training. Students say they left wow. feeling um, encouraged. It was really cool. It was like very interesting learning about everything she did in space. And then when she was talking about seeing the outer banks from space, that was like the most interesting part for sure. She also answered questions from students. Does space get lonely? How to mentally prepare for isolation? Every time I had that feeling, of, ah, I just want to leave. I just want to get out of here. This is no, this is no good. I would replace it and I would think about something that was there that I might never have again. She also passed along parting words for students and those dreaming of the final frontier. Absolutely anything is possible. And the second thing is NASA's missions are for everyone. We want everyone to feel part of our missions. Cook's Artemis II mission is scheduled for September of 2025. We'll continue to follow her journey on air and online at WNCT.com. In Jacksonville, Sarah Gravar, 9 on your side.